Oh, hi. I'm Mike, the intern. And welcome to my video about what I got on Record Store Day. Thank you to all our friends at Secret Year. It was an amazing day. Thanks to everyone that came out, of course, and uh, got some really cool records. I wanted to make a little video with the help of my lovely assistant, who's behind the camera, to show you what I got on Record Store Day. So first, I picked up this James Brown Show is funky down here. Now, if you'll see, this is an all instrumental album done by the James Brown Band in 1971. As you can also see, I like to take the stickers off of the outside of the, the shrink and put them on the white. I never do it if it's the color, but if it's a white like this, I always do that. I don't care, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm gonna listen to them. But the cool thing about this one is, is it comes, well, obviously, in addition to sounding awesome, it comes with this really cool booklet of the time period with James, who he was working with in the band, production notes, test pressing notes, studio master tapes. I mean, it's it's super cool. And uh, a lot of the bands I'm into now, like the one we're listening to in the background, the Budos Band, really heavily influenced by this style of soul and funk music that was done by these guys in the early 70s. If uh, you're interested in that stuff, Look into the label, Daptone Records. Very cool guys. And um, yeah, it, it, I've already listened to this one. It, it's, it's a really cool record. Uh, the next one I got, if I can get this back into its sleeve correctly, was a, it wasn't really a record I got on Record Store Day per se, but it was an album that I ordered over Christmas that finally got delivered yesterday. And it's by a DJ called Cookin' Soul. It's part of a, it's kind of a GoFundMe type thing called Crates. Uh, a lot of bands and musicians um, will put up, uh, you know, I'm gonna press this album like 200 and that's it, buy it, and then you'll get it when it gets pressed. This was one of them. It features MF Doom and a bunch of reworked Christmas songs in his style. But the cool thing, I mean, it's awesome. I love MF Doom, but in, in addition to that, it comes with this awesome Grinch MF Doom picture disc. Phenomenal record. Um, obviously, it's you know Christmas in April, but uh, definitely going to be bumping this one when it comes out uh, for Christmas in my Christmas collection that I bust out every year after Thanksgiving. So the next record I got was a copy of The Gorillas: The Fall. This was an album which I am a massive fan of. The Gorillas, by the way. This was an album that Damon Albarn pretty much recorded while the band was touring the United States, and they put it out as a digital only release. And this one comes with this really cool translucent green, kind of dark green, I don't know if you can see it that well, but I'll put it in the light a little bit. But uh, that really dark green, I really love that. Um, really cool one, this was definitely one of the ones I was after for Record Store Day. And it's a, it's a really cool record. Like I said, I mean, Damon pretty much did this in his hotel rooms while he was touring and on a like a simple little four track, eight track recorder and that's the record. It's, it's a really cool album. Um, simplistic, but uh, very cool nonetheless. And I love the Gorillaz, so that's why I got it. I also got another Gorillaz release I'll show you in just one second. Uh, the next one I got <clears throat> was the test pressing of Bob Dylan's Blood on Tracks. Now the deal with this record is, um, Dylan recorded this in New York and had a test pressing made in 1974 of the album. After he had that done, he listened to it and he was happy with half of it and not happy with the other half. Some of the other songs that he re -ended, ended up redoing was uh, Tangled, Tangled Up in Blue, um, Idiot Wind. Those songs he completely redid for the version of Blood on Tracks that we all know and love. This however, started to get circulated as a uh, bootleg, and it's kind of been a bootlegged album ever since then. They've kind of released it digitally, but this is the first time they've actually replicated the test pressing. It is a phenomenal record. Blood on Tracks by Dylan is probably one of my favorite records by him, if not my favorite. Um, it usually is a tie. It's Highway 61, Blonde on Blonde, and uh, Blood on Tracks. I love that. And then, the one I was definitely after, more than all others, the mono edition of Pink Floyd Saucer Full of Secrets. Their first two records were mixed in mono. This would be the second one. The first one they did last year for Record Store Day, Piper at the Gates of Dawn. But as you can see, mono original mix, Pink Floyd comes in that same kind of, I don't know how why they did this in old records. It was like the Beatles ones are like that, the way the uh, jacket's done. But 
um, as I was telling my dad, this one was mastered by James Guthrie and Bernie Grunman, and arguably the two guys, I mean, there's a, there a few guys in the world that are the best at what they do. James and Bernie are the best at when it comes to mastering vinyl. So if you're ever out buying a record and you see their names on the album, buy it. Didn't even matter if you like the band. Their ear for how good this stuff sounds is matched by nobody else. They are phenomenal. It is a phenomenal record, and I love it. Uh, another record, this wasn't in a record store they released, but it came out yesterday, so I wanted to make mention of it. The record we were, we're listening to right now by a band called The Budos Band. They're a band made up of some phenomenal musicians off the Daptone label in Brooklyn, New York. Um, they describe it as if Black Sabbath was on holiday in Abu Dhabi, which I think is hilarious, but it's definitely like dark funk, I don't know. But if you can get in close to this record and look at that engine oil color, it's a super, super tight record. Um, the last one that I got was a promotional uh, release of Demon Days, which is one of my favorite records from the Gorillas. All the instrumental versions of those songs, so I cannot wait to listen to that one. And the final one I was after, which this was not a record store day release, but I got it yesterday, so I wanted to mention it, was the Block Party EP I've been after for years. It has a version of uh, Banquet that I really like on it, but it's got a song that was never released on their uh, first album called The Answer, which is a phenomenal record, and that's why I was after. So there you have it. Those are the albums I got for Record Store Day. I hope you got ones that you liked. I hope you're sitting at home listening to records because that's exactly what today is all about. Thank you to Stick It In Your Ear and everyone that came out today. I'm Joe Weston for Man in the Ship and uh, hopefully you had a great record day. We'll definitely see you again come Black Friday for the next Record Store Day. And as always, you can find out more stuff on our website, 1047thecave.com. Happy listening and happy Record Store Day.